My name is Farida Nur Cahyati. Uh, you can call me Farida. I'm a student and I'm from Bandung. Thank you. Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, uh, what about, um, oh, how do you say this name? Jara? Uh, did I get it right? Please call okay. me Atta, sir. Could you repeat? Say hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Could you tell us something about yourself? You can call me Atta. Okay. I'm a student in Smara State University. My major is uh, English Education. Okay. And now I'm in second years. Okay, thank okay. you. Oh yeah. Thank you. Okay. I'm okay. from I'm all, I'm from Serang Banten. Okay, nice, nice. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. What about um, how do I say this? Uh, v DVI coach. Did you yeah. get it? Yeah. Hello? <laughs> Uh, okay, good evening everyone. You can clear my voice? Yeah, I can hear you, yeah. yeah. Uh, I want to introduce, my, introduce myself. My name is Dwi Amelustari. You can call me Dwi. And I am swim coach, a personal trainer basic for, uh, for a basic swimming. Okay. I live in Jakarta. Nice, nice. Um, I used to train swimming actually for four years, so there's oh. something. Yeah, um, I used to swim a lot, fly or yeah, fly. That's how it's called. That was my favorite technique. Okay, nice. And we have someone new. So hello, Tia. Yeah. Hello. Um, hi, Tia. Could you tell me something about yourself? Who? Me. Yes, I'm a primary teacher exactly in Bekasi, West Java. Okay, um, could you repeat? I didn't hear you very well. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's, is it a little bit noisy? No, no, I just, uh, it's a bit deafened. I can't hear you very well. Oh, yeah. One more time. Okay, now it's good. Yeah. Okay. Hi, everyone. I'm Tia. I'm a primary teacher exactly in a private school in Bekasi, West Java. Okay, nice, great, great, great. Okay, so nice to meet you all. And um, okay, so as I can as I can tell from the beginning right now, it seems that you all know English, you know, to some extent. Yeah, you can use English in a conversation. Correct. You can understand me when I speak. Am I right? Yeah. Okay. So, like, um, what do you all want to improve in your English? So let's begin with you, Tia. What do you want to improve in your English? Okay, honestly, uh, I want to improve my English skills as I want to pursue my master degree. So I need to take uh, an IELTS little test, exactly in some couple months, perhaps. And I've been studying uh, English since. Uh, in the end of March in 2019. Okay. Yeah, one year. Yeah. Okay, okay. So you want to work on your IELTS, correct? Right. Okay, nice, nice. I, I held a lot of IELTS classes. Okay, nice. <laughs> what about Farida? What about you? What do you want to improve in your English? I don't know. <laughs> Could you repeat it? What do you want to improve in your English? What do you want to improve on? Uh, I would like to improve my speaking skill because uh, it relates to, to my study. I'm studying okay. at yeah, English education. So uh, I, I was a shy person. So for the past four years, I okay. learned English uh, passively, I I can understand wh what other people say. I can understand when I read a book, but I I can't speak. Well, you oh, can yeah. speak. Yeah, I understand you. <laughs> so you can yeah. speak. Yeah, <laughs> but we'll work on it. Sure, sure. Okay, okay, nice, nice. What about Ata? Yeah, did I get it right? That's the nickname. Okay, maybe yeah. uh, my reason is same as uh, Miss Farida. Because I'm a student, I'm um, English student. My major is 
English education. So someday I will be a teacher, English teacher. So I have to uh, learn about. Uh, so I have to improve my speaking skills. Okay. So you want to yeah. steal my techniques? <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Okay, okay. No, no, okay, okay. So we're all working on speaking, yeah, as far as I can understand. Listening, speaking. So, um, okay, what about um, Dvi? Dvi? Yeah, I want to learn in English with you because I want to upgrade my license, license swim coach uh, level international. I want to take license uh, in FINA, FINA. Fina school, Fina, Fina, yeah, yeah, Fina. In Indonesia, just PRSE. I have license national. Okay. I want to, I want to make uh, upgrade my my speak because my language speak English not not very good. Okay, that's not bad. Still, it's okay. Yeah, I can understand it. That's perfect. Thank you. Work on it, of course. Yeah. And uh, someone else has joined us. Uh, Mahendra Foundation. Hi. Hello, can you hear me? Um, he, he isn't responding. Well, welcome anyway. <laughs> I guess when you enable your microphone, we'll talk a bit. Okay, so nice, nice. So um, I guess as a first, um, since it seems that we all, we all, we all want to improve our English, yeah? Even me, even I want to improve somewhat. So I guess we should do some conversations, yeah? So maybe I can ask you a couple of questions. And then you can all answer however you want, okay? So like maybe I can ask you, okay, um, what was the last book you read? And then you would answer, okay, I read this book. I really like this book because of this. You understand? Yeah? And this is really important because these types of questions are usually asked for by the, by the by IELTS or by TOEFL. They ask you these types of questions so that they can see how you can respond to them and how well you can, you know, keep a conversation. Okay? So, like, this is good for everyone, working on our speaking and our listening. So, um, let's begin with, um, I guess, with Atta. Yeah. Okay. So, since you, you have a major in English and teaching, okay. So, I guess you're the most advanced one here. Yeah. So, like, I, I, I have a site here i'll share my screen actually so you can see can i share my screen i hope i can and yes okay so can you see my screen yeah okay so so i would like to ask you ata i would like to ask you to pick, pick a number from one to 250 it can be any number you want Pick a random number. Yeah. Number. Okay. Yeah, I want you to pick a random number. Say any number you want from one to two hundred and fifty. Okay. Twenty one. Twenty one. Maybe okay. twenty one. Okay, so the question is what were you really into when you were a kid? Okay, so can you answer that? Like, what were you really into when you were a guy? Okay, so do, do you all understand the question? Do you know what this question means? Okay, I know. Okay, but do you all, um, like, Dvi, Tia, do you all know what the question means? Yes, I know. Okay, okay. Okay, we'll answer that question. Mm. When I was, when I was a kid, a kid, I love to uh, read a poem or uh, write a poem, and uh, I was a win I was a winner in uh, reading poem competition when I was in kindergarten. So uh, why why I love read a poem or write a poem because my mother and my father is. Uh, Indonesian language teacher, so they they often they often teach me about poem and others. Okay, that's enough. Okay, okay. So, what was what were the poems about? 
about everything about life, maybe. Okay, okay, so it was like, oh, okay, so it was a bit philosophical, yeah? Okay, nice, nice. Uh, what about, what about Tia? What about you? Yeah. What do you think about this question? What would be your answer? Yeah? Okay. Hi. Tia, what do you think? Um, honestly, I don't know. I have to think of, but let me think about. Um, sure. Could you hear me? Yeah, I can hear. You. Yeah, yeah. Think about it. It can be anything. <laughs> Does it mean uh, what I usually do when I was a kid? No, no. So, like, so, like, the question is, what were you really into when you were a kid? Okay. So this phrase "into" it means like what you really like to do. Yeah. yeah. So sometimes you might hear like, oh, when you're watching American movies, they might say, okay. He is really into her. That means he really likes her. He really likes to do something. So when someone asks you, what were you really into? It's like, what, what, what did you really like to do? Okay. So for example, Atta said, okay, I really like to write poems. I was really into writing poems. So maybe if I were to answer this question, I would say, okay, when I was a kid, I was really into, um, Running, yeah, I don't know. I, I like to run, yeah. I was, <laughs> it was just like that. I was quite energetic, okay. So, like, it can be anything, yeah, yeah. Uh, perhaps, um, when I was a kid, I really like with a Japanese cartoon, <laughs> okay. Well, I didn't understand what, what did you say? Well, I didn't, I didn't hear. Okay. I really like what Japanese cartoon like Tsubatsa. Do you, do you ever heard about Tsubatsa, Japanese cartoon? No, no. It's like no. anime? Yeah? Yeah, that's like anime. Okay, nice, nice. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> okay. I used to watch Naruto, I guess. That's something similar. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Giant. <laughs> okay. Well, what about you, Dvi? What about you? What were you really into when you were a kid? When I uh, when I'm chill hot, I like to go into the pool, have a swimming, have a practice in club to swimming, and I like uh, cycling. I like I like play kite. Okay, nice, nice. Uh, yeah. Logically, yeah. Yeah, when when I'm I'm before before join club swimming, I take uh, private private swimming with with someone, and I practice in in uh, after uh, after I score after I score I. I, I take a uh, private swimming and I go to the pool three times a week and wow. I'm joining a club, club swimming in Jakarta, uh, going to pool almost four times a week. Wow. Every, nice. I do every, every, every after school and then now, uh, I, I I want I want to I want to be a professional swim coach for basic swimming swimming because I want I want to make many people healthy many people can swim with a good technique uh, that's that's, okay. that's and I guess I guess swimming is really important in Indonesia right because your oceans and everything yeah so <laughs> where I'm from we don't have seas so but still I still I really like to swim as well okay nice nice. And um, Farida, what about you? 
What about you? When I was a kid, I really into swimming. And back then, my relatives opened a new swimming pool for the public. And I swimming almost every day. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Until my skin become tan, tan, <laughs> black, <laughs> black skin. Yes. Yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, so I guess you, you all, you, a lot of people like to swim in Indonesia, I guess. <laughs> okay. Nice. <laughs> nice. Okay. Okay. So, um, um, let's go with Tia. Tia, you again. So, um, you can now pick a number, pick another number, any number you want. Five. Five. Twenty-five. Twenty, could you repeat? Twenty-five or five? Sorry, thirty-five. Thirty-five, okay, sure, sure. Um, okay. Who oh. was your best friend in elementary school? Okay, so I guess now I want you to describe this person, yeah? So, like, if you tell me he was Alex, that sounds great, but I don't know anything about him. You need to, like, describe him to me, okay? So, <laughs> go ahead. Tell me something about your best friend in elementary school. Okay, give me some seconds. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, yeah. When I was elementary student, I have a friend, his name Adit. Okay. Yeah. He is a kind person who like football and in the Every single day, we are usually go to school together, and then in the weekday, we are usually watch what's that anime, right? <laughs> and draw it on our drawing book. <laughs> okay, interesting. Wow. Okay, so I see that uh, some more people have joined us. So hello, uh, Tutik, Mahendra. Hi. Can you hear me? Hi, Mr. Hello, hello, Miss. Hello. I can't hear you. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm come late because uh, after flag lowering ceremony, yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay. To stay in Indonesia. Okay. Okay. Nice. Nice. And um, hello, hello, Mahendra. Mahendra, did I say it right? Can you hear me? Huh? He, he can't hear me, I guess. Okay. Okay. Um, anyway, so, Tudik, um, welcome to the class. <laughs> my name is Alex. I'm your English teacher for today. And before you came, we were introducing each, we were introducing each other, you know? So we were like saying hi, saying why we're here, what our name is, and what we want to learn in English. So, um, what do you want to improve in your English? Uh, Mr. Alexa, I'm sorry, maybe uh, yeah. I limited in English, you know? uh, but uh, I, I, uh, I want to have it learning uh, English because a long time I, I am not uh, learning English or here, here someone uh, talk English is uh, <laughs> very, very, very. Uh, I often, yeah, often uh, to. Uh, I I am seldom to uh, hearing uh, English. Okay, okay. So, like, do you do you use English for your job or something? Like, do you use it every day? No, no. Oh. <laughs> yes, <laughs> because. Uh, I I feel uh, English is very important because uh, sometimes I I, I have duty to abroad, but uh, every but not uh, use English every day, Mister. Okay. Okay, so, okay, so like, do you want to improve, um, I suppose you want to improve your speaking skills, yeah? Yes, yes. Okay, so like, 
before you came here, we were doing these questions. So someone chose a random number. And as you can see on the screen, there are all these questions. And someone would answer the question. Okay. So like here, you can see the question now is, who was your best friend in elementary school? Okay. No, no. Uh, no. Can I choose uh, 30, 34? Yes, 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 but now it's 35, okay? Now we're doing 35. Best friend. Yes. Okay. Um, okay. Can I uh, choose uh, 34, yeah, Mr. Jackson? No, well, we'll do it next next time because now we're doing this question. So we, you can skip the question if you want, but okay? You don't need to answer it. Okay. Uh, Next time, yeah? Okay, so let, let me go with the other students, see what they, maybe someone has something to say for this question, and then when we get back, we'll do 34, okay? Yeah, 34. What do you okay. spend most uh, of you free time? Uh, no, 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 later, we'll do, we'll do 34 later, not now, okay? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, so for 35, um, let me ask, let me ask, um, D. Okay. What do you think about the thirty-five question? Yeah. Who was your best friend in elementary school? I don't have. No one. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. But uh, all my friend, uh, I accept like a uh, best friend. <laughs> not 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 one. All uh, all my friend, I. I I accept them be be friend a, a good friend. Okay, but not there's not one best friend, yeah. Many friends. Okay, okay. What about what about Jata? What do you think about the question? Pardon? Okay. Not for me. Not for you, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. What about what about? Um, Farida, yeah, what do you think about the question? Oh, here it Best is. friend in elementary school, sir? Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, my best friend at elementary school was, Ron was Ronnie. Okay. Um, is, she was so smart and he became a partner for study. Uh, I really enjoy to study with him because uh, he was very smart and teach me a lot about the material, especially math. And yeah, okay. nice. <laughs> it, nice. sir. great, great. Okay, okay. Let's go. Let's get back to Turik. Okay. So now, now we can do question thirty-four. Okay. So now the question is, where do you spend most of your free time? Okay. <laughs> so what now? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, wait. Here it is. 34. Oh, yes. uh, my free time with my family, and uh, I am uh, go to the market, to the market, traditional, traditional market, and then uh, I cook cooking with my family and a lunch together with my family. Okay, yes. okay. So you usually spend time with your family, yeah? Yes. Okay. I spend uh, my time for my family. Okay, that's great. That's great. I, I like to do that as well. Nice, nice. Okay, okay. What about, would someone like to answer this question? Does someone have something really nice to say about it? Yeah? Does someone want to answer it first? Anyone? Okay, <laughs> let's go by a list then. Okay, so let's get to Tia. Tia, hi. Yes, what do you think about this question? Um, about leisure time, is it right? Yes, leisure free time, time, leisure time, yeah. Even better, more professional. <laughs> I really like to spend my leisure time for reading, writing, and perhaps uh, my new hobbies in this time is making uh, video content for my job, exactly for farmer to chill 
as we know, we know that in coronavirus era, we have to teach our students best home learning programs. So I have to be content creator, right? <laughs> and every <Okay>. day, really <laughs> make some videos for my students. That's all. Wow, wow, that's really nice. Okay, so you're like a YouTuber, yeah? <laughs> I mean, really content. Okay, great, great. Okay. What about what about V? What do you think about the question? Um, I spend my my free times. I used to take a sport, cycling, swimming, and I sewing and Almost every day I have a student need swim. Just, just I go to go to pool every day. Almost every day I go to pool. And spare my time, I uh, take care of my family, take care of my my boy, take care of my husband, take care of my business, little business uh, outside swim so got I have a little business interior. And I have a business, a boarding house too in Jakarta. Wow. Oh, wow. Nice. <laughs> wow. So, but still, it's swimming. So, swimming is everywhere in your life. Yeah? Swimming. You I just, swim. I just, I just uh, did swimming for someone. I want looking uh, reward from Allah, and I want to make a many people healthy, and many people can swim with a good technique. That's right. That's Great. Right. And uh, in swimming, what is your favorite technique? What do you like to swim the most? Technique for? for, yeah, for like your technique, what do you like? Is it freestyle or? Uh, yeah, basic swimming, uh, just freestyle and bridge stroke. And I I got for, for style, I, I can. Okay, wow, uh, nice, uh, nice. Poster, I can. Okay, great, great. Okay, what about you? What about no? I asked Eric already. <laughs> what about what about um, Jada? What do you think about the question? How do you spend your free time? Okay, actually now I'm in a boarding school, so I don't have many time. I don't have many free time. So when I have a free time, I will. Uh, carry for my place because I have a little garden in my house uh, and I will join the Zumba dance because I love to uh, join the sports and I will accompany my my mother to join the yoga and I love to maybe after that uh, in the night I will I will uh, iron my my family squats because that is my job actually. That's enough. <laughs> okay, nice, nice. Okay, great, great. Uh, what about you, Farida? How do you spend your leisure time? Uh, currently, I spend most of my free time at home to speak uh, to practice English okay. by myself like shadowing or describing something retelling a story yeah just it okay that's pretty good nice nice so let me ask you all a question oh by the way let me ask mahendra hi can you hear me um mahendra foundation yeah hi hello oh he's not responding okay Maybe good signal on there yeah, maybe. Okay. Well, he has a cute kid anyway. <laughs> okay. So let me ask you a question besides this. So I'm curious, like, how does, um, as, as someone already said, how does this coronavirus era, how does it affect you? Like, how, what effect does it have on your life, on your job? So let's begin with V. How does coronavirus affect you? Mm, is this, this, uh, is this situation, Corona, in my country. Yeah, like how does it affect uh, your country? Yeah. Is uh, many people can can do can do activities with well, yeah. Many poor close, and I, I'm I'm not teaching someone to swimming, and 
I I think this is uh, this is uh, this is for time lockdown is open. Uh, this is make a uh, many pool not yet open too, and I can I can I cannot go to the pool and I just take care of my business aja. <laughs> Just, just my business. I take care, and this is Corona. I think uh, after after this situation, we must we must take care, always take care about uh, protocol, healthy, yeah, for healthy, yeah. That's okay. Okay. Yeah, interesting. I agree. Okay. What about what about Tia? Hi, Tia. Yeah. <laughs> um, are you affected any way by the coronavirus? Oh. Does it have an effect on your life? Yeah. yeah. Uh, exactly in my daily life or my job. Uh, daily life job, anything. Yes, and in anything, coronavirus uh, has changed uh, my daily activity. Like I have to more food <coughs> my health and prefer to choose healthy food, and I have to decrease like uh, foods from street vendors or perhaps like oily or others anything else and in my job i have to create a new method to teach my students you know perhaps we can teach students so many materials from videos but while we are we want to know about uh, our student psychology it's the tricky one where we, are, we have to teach uh, by virtual but we cannot we can't know or what was happened with our students in their home and what uh, parents trouble uh, while teaching their their children like that <laughs> yeah. okay okay interesting okay <laughs> um wow okay what about what about farida hi how are you affected in any way by the virus yeah uh it affected in my like um, I lack experience in teaching because uh, I have to teach for three months back then but because of the coronavirus pandemic I just teach uh, a couple of weeks because this all the school is closed all the school is closed so yeah Okay, okay. I can't so, teach again. <laughs> okay. So so do you teach someone something? Um I had to practice teaching before I work in on my thesis. So yeah. Okay. So so what do you what do you teach? Uh English for vocational high school. Wow, okay. Great, great. So so many English teachers here. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Okay. What about what about Jata? Hi. So, it's not really affected for me because, uh, because, uh, my day, it just affected F affected for my daily activities. Uh, like, I can't, to I can't to go. I can go. I can't go to my campus, and I have to study study with virtual virtual system method virtual, virtual online okay okay yeah um i guess that that's <laughs> for a lot of people okay okay and what about what about tudik yes uh coronavirus pandemic influence to uh, my work and our activity uh used to remote working or work from home and then uh yeah a lot face to face yeah and um, i feel work from home uh cannot maximal yeah <laughs> yeah maximum yeah. maximal <laughs> yeah. maximal to uh Objective, objective, uh, yeah, uh, ini ya, 
activity ya yeah. but uh, ya yeah. okay okay yeah um i is is the same for me um on my country yeah we we need to do a lot of things from home so it has affected me because i i used to go out a lot and i used to give classes um in real life you know i mean this is real life but one on one in person so now i do it online and yeah it, it has affected me as well okay okay interesting interesting i was very curious about the situation in indonesia but okay so who would like to give another number Okay, what about, what about Farida? Yeah, I didn't ask you for a number. Okay, so you can pick any number you want. Seven. Seven? Yes. Well, seven, lucky number, okay. <laughs> um, what are you going to do this weekend? Okay, can you answer the question? Um, I'm going to stay at home as usual okay. <laughs> to learn <laughs> just it <laughs> oh that's good that's a, sounds like a plan okay yeah <laughs> okay what about v yeah. what do you plan on doing this weekend uh, let me guess swimming but <laughs> besides swimming uh, uh, like uh, when we can my student not not need swim I go to cycling with my husband and with my boy outdoor cycling from uh, until 30 kilometers okay. and every Sunday I, I go to cycling outdoor with my family and after cycling we, we take care of my family and uh, if evening have a student meet swim I go to pool and I teach uh, uh, oh yeah, perfect, perfect weekend. Yeah, just, just I, I take with a sport. Yeah, every weekend, and cooking for my family, and take care of my home, take care of my pets, like that. I do, uh, in my weekend. Okay, that's great. That's great. So you really like to go outdoors and do sports. Yeah. 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 Okay, me too. Me too. <laughs> what about Tia? What do you plan on doing this weekend? You, you yeah. muted. I can't hear you. Tia mute mute sound. Yeah, you you're muted. Yeah. Tia mute. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because Azan was sounding. Yeah. Oh yeah, Azan Isa. Yeah. Uh, yeah. uh, what I usually uh, week. Yeah, like the question is, what are you going to do this weekend? Okay. Oh, uh, in this weekend, perhaps in this weekend, uh, I usually go to a traditional market to buy uh, some was that like uh, vegetables, fish, and that's my like necessary right okay. <laughs> activity, right? Yes. and then hang out with my friends to decrease our stress on our job <laughs> okay okay nice nice sounds, sounds great okay what about Turik? what do you plan on doing uh this weekend maybe the same with miss tia yeah, yeah. Uh, early morning, I uh, go to the traditional market and then uh, cooking with my family and then uh, lunch together and then uh, our, uh, new fee, yeah? Movie. With my family, watching movie with my family, yes. Okay, and what kind of movies do you like to watch? Only uh, my house, only at home. Okay, okay, okay. Like, what what kind of movies? You know, like action movies. Yeah, yeah. Uh, action, action movies. Okay. Yes. Okay. Nice, nice, interesting. Okay. And what about Jata? <laughs> what are you going to do this weekend? 
Okay, this weekend maybe I will uh, complete my essay assignments because uh, my senior is is oh yeah. Most of the time, it ordered me to to write some say, and okay. I will I will finish to read a novel. Uh, by people and husband, she is a writer. She is a writer novel about uh, about a story history about history about a woman in Islam, and. I will, I will carrying of my plans as usual. Maybe that's enough. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Sounds sounds great. Sounds like an interesting topic. Okay. Um. Wow. So. Okay. Well, so who who didn't choose a number? I believe that. Um. Did they ask V? V. Did they ask you to choose a number? Yeah. Okay, I, I asked Tia, I, I, asked, yeah, I think, yeah. I choose? Yeah, okay, you can choose, you can choose. Mm. Oh yeah, H, maybe H? Okay. What's the most useful thing you own? You can answer it. <laughs> the most useful thing you own, oh yeah, yeah, I think uh i have skill skill swimming and i'm i'm i i want to share my swim to many people for useful for for many people useful for healthy for can swim with a good technical and uh I have skill for therapy, swimming therapy or water water therapy for a special needs. I do. Okay. Yeah. I think uh, uh, I I can swim and uh, that's I create for for my business little business in interior. Make a short time, make a bed sheet like that. I can uh, make a gift for give a uh, back little back for give. I can make like that. Okay. Wow. But like, oh, okay. The question is, what is the most useful thing? So like, it's not like like thing as in like swimming, but like thing as in I suppose it's like an object, yeah. So like maybe my most useful thing would be my phone or my. Ah, uh, uh, not not basic school. Uh, basic school, I I can't think graduate from accounting and my experience in 10 years in bank for well, my life. Okay. i woman an uh, old woman you know <laughs> okay okay what about tia what is the most useful thing you own so like an object yeah you're, you're muted again Tia, can you hear me? Yeah, mute, mute. <laughs> this is very okay. okay. Yeah. And uh, the most useful thing that I have is my favorite books. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I uh, I have my own bookshelf on my home, and I usually put the new book is a for bestsellers book and i put there and after i read my book i usually get some new values like for improving my myself like self-development right yeah i really like about self-development that i get from reading a book okay great great wow okay what about turik what is the most useful thing you own? What am the most useful? Uh, okay. Uh, I have knowledge. Uh, education, yeah. My background education and uh, I can uh, teach 
in uh, Mr. Alexa. Yes, I did uh, in uh, Symphony Seven in uh, Minister of Home Affairs in Indonesia. Okay. Yes. Nice. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. What about Farida? Yeah. Um, the first one is my phone because it okay. helped me to looking for some material for learning English and join the online course. And the second one is my glasses because it helps me a lot to see what is written in the whiteboard uh, when I'm studying in a class. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you can see the phone and the glasses. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Nice. <laughs> okay. Great. Great. What about Jada? most useful thing by my own is my that my, my is the most useful thing is my laptop because i love to read some story or some poem and i have to uh, i have to read a short a short, a short story or, or a poem for uh phrase my brain and my laptop is useful for me. Okay, laptop, yeah. Okay, great. So you write on your laptop, you don't write on like pen and paper. <laughs> okay, I, I, I don't know, like I, I write like both. I really like to write with a pen because it's, I guess it's more personal, but laptop is also good, okay? Okay, so nice, nice. Um, ja, you can pick another number now. Uh, 10. 10. 10. 10. Okay. <laughs> what do you think of tattoos? And do you have any? I don't like tattoos. Okay, so you can answer the question. Is this my turn, sir? Uh, could you repeat? Is this my turn? Yeah, it's your yeah, it's your turn. Yeah, you can you can answer the question. Um, I don't have any tattoo, and I'm very hated. Uh, I'm I feel afraid if I look someone have a tattoo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> tattoo it make make someone look uh more, more, uh, look looks dangerous <laughs> okay <laughs> okay okay so do, do what do you think of those tattoos they're just dangerous yeah you don't like them yes okay okay what about you farida what do you think i think tattoo is art because i heard from so many people who have a tattoo said that uh, that's kind of like a stuff for express their self, themselves, their themselves. And um, but yeah, but I don't have any. <laughs> okay, okay. So would you like to have a tattoo? Not really, because I'm afraid that my parents will will angry when I. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm so okay. scared. Yeah. Okay, what about Tudik? What do you think about tattoos? Yes, uh, maybe the same with my friend and I don't have tattoo and I'm afraid if uh, see someone have tattoo and uh, part of uh, apa sebagian dari orang Indonesia apa ya? Part of People in Indonesia, tattoo is art, but uh, I don't like, I, I don't like and I afraid. Uh, okay, okay. So, yeah. Okay, so, okay, nice. So, we have dif differing opinions. That's really good. Yeah, okay. <laughs> what about V? What do you think of tattoos? Um, Me. Okay. Me? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, V, V. Yeah. Uh, I think tattoo is an uh, art, yeah. Uh, he 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 took uh, many many yeah. many picture yeah 
has the she 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 give to the her body their body, but I don't like and in the, in Muslim it's a forbidden religious yeah a tattoo and okay. I don't like I don't like tattoo. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, this uh, tattoo, someone have tattoo is a uh, like like want to make uh, apa ya mencari perhatian tuh apa ya <laughs> like uh, yeah looking for mean, attention yeah looking for attention for the other the other the other the other one yeah. I think I don't like like that too because in okay. my my Muslim is a forbidden forbidden religion. Forbidden, yeah. Okay, nice, nice. And Tia, what about you? What do you think of that tattoos? <laughs> uh, it seems to me perhaps I'm in the sp in the same boat with Farida and mystery, right? It just for art, yeah. Yeah, it just for art and uh, perhaps for some people in Indonesia or other countries, uh, they will express their own self in their body with tattoos and uh, yeah, <laughs> that's their choice, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, interesting. Okay, so are you also afraid of tattoos or? Um, no, not afraid, but perhaps in Indonesia in uh, what's that? Um, so, uh, uh, most um, of the people is Muslim and like Biden, Biden. Okay. Uh, oh. have is that has yeah. uh, what is that negative yeah. stigma, right? Yeah, yeah. In other countries, <laughs> perhaps in outside from Indonesia, it's it's. An art, right? And yeah, that's just their choice. Perhaps uh, other people know why they do that, why they don't, why they shouldn't do that. And we have to know what the reason why we should do that or like that or no. Perhaps like okay. Yeah. Okay, interesting. So like, are, are tattoos common in Indonesia? Like, do you see them often? Yeah, I think that's common, but not all people can accept that tattoos, uh, uh, people with tattoos, right? Okay, okay. Hmm. I don't know. Um, here in my country, it's, it's. Um, I guess, I don't know, actually. Like, it's, it really depends on who you talk to. Like, some people really like them, some people don't like them. But, like, mm -hmm. I guess for the most part, it's normal. Like, it doesn't really have a bad stigma. Yeah, but yeah, right. interesting. Yeah. Most, the most, uh, in uh, was that in my opinion, right? It just in my opinions, uh, it's like a negative stigma, but uh, it's come back to you. Yeah, you have uh, it. The point is, you have to know what the reason if we want to do something, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I agree. I agree. Nice. So. Um, these are the questions for today, and I, I like I didn't want to correct you like all of you, yeah. I didn't want to correct you when you made some mistakes because like I'm trying to like okay see what how we all speak and then I'll, I want to like let you speak, yeah. So like next class I'll be a bit more diligent. I'll be a bit more annoying. I guess I'll, I'll correct you when you make a mistake. But like for now, uh, all of you, your English is okay. Yeah, I mean, we can understand each other. You can understand me, and that's pretty good now. So don't think of yourself as someone who doesn't know how to speak English, because you all know how to speak English. We can now just work on making it better. Yeah, we have the foundation, and now we make the building. Okay, so like next class, we'll start working on, you know, maybe articles or grammar, or anything. Yeah, we'll think of something. But um, I noticed that all of you mentioned reading and books. So like maybe as a homework, if you want, you can write a very, very short essay about your favorite book or favorite article, favorite anything you want, okay? So like maybe a hundred words, 200 if you want. It can be a poem, it can be anything you want, basically just about books or about a book that you really like, okay? Is it okay? Yeah, did you understand me? <laughs> yes, I understand. 
Okay, what about the others? Yeah, Dvi, Turik? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Farida? Yeah, Jara? Okay. Awesome, awesome. Okay. So I guess, um, yeah, just if you just write a short essay, I can write it down here if you want, but like just a short essay about your favorite book and why is it your favorite book? Okay. And for the end of the class, like, um, do you have any questions for me? Because I've been asking you questions all the time. Do you have any questions for me, maybe? Anyone? No? So, okay. Alexa? Okay. Yeah? So they should write it down, write it down, or just try to memorize it. Um, I guess, I guess for the homework, you should probably write it down, like for the, for the essay, write it down. Of course, that's an essay. Yeah. You should write it down. Um, okay. preferably it should be on the computer so that you can just, you know, copy paste it here on this, um, zoom Chat. on the application. It's much easier than I can read it, you know, right here. So like just write it on the computer or on your phone anyway, anyhow you want and then just copy paste it here. Okay. So just, um, yeah, by next class, try to do that. And, um, yeah, I guess that's about it for me. Um, so if you don't have any questions, I think that's all. Okay. okay. Thank you very much, Mr. Alexa. It Thank is you. a very good meeting for today. Very good class. Teman-teman ya, PR nya nulis 100 kata ya teman-teman minimal. 100 kata tentang buku atau artikel atau puisi yang kalian suka. Kayak gitu ya teman-teman ya. Oke. Oke udah. Demikian pertemuan hari ini. Saya Giri. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. Thank you Mr. Alexa. Thank you Mr. Alexa.